Joe Hopkins here, and I've got a new guitar, right? Um, today, I'm going to be unboxing it and taking a look at it and first impressions, and then I'll uh, spend a little bit of time with it before I do a full review. I like to do that. I like to spend a little bit of time with something so I can be honest about it. You know, how can you be honest about something if you haven't, if you haven't lived with it a little bit, right? So... First, we're gonna open this. It's a little bit different, this, this guitar. It's a little bit something um, unconventional, it seems like. Yeah, I like different. I like to try out new things. Let's see what is in. It says right there, you know, enyamusical.com. Some of you, I'm sure, can figure it out from that. Here we go. Uh, yeah, okay. Trying to, trying to make his work. I don't really have anything to put this on. Okay, we got this thing with the stuff in it. Uh, the, what have we got? What comes with this? Well, first of all, USB cable, right? So obviously it plugs in or it charges. Some of you know what it is already. Extra strings. I think I said this comes with Diodaria strings on it. There we go. Now you can see it. Nova Go. I got one of those carbon fiber Nova Go guitars. Uh, smart guitar, it's called. Well, we'll see how smart this guitar is. What all is this crap? For the love of music. Okay. And a uh, strap. And I, this looks like some kind of cleaning cloth or something. All kinds of junk in here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. We got the, the little Allen wrench for making adjustments and it's taped. Why is it taped? Why is there tape on it? I'll, I don't, I don't even need it. I have a guitar tool, right? I'm one of those people. What's that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. we got an instrument plug. It looks like a pretty decent one too. Let me, let me take a look. Yeah. That looks like a really decent instrument cable. That's nice and heavy duty, professional noiseless instrument cable. Okay. So here it's in this little gig bag. That's a nice little gig bag, padded. Nice padding, let me get this box out of the way. Guitar boxes, right? You need them, but then you want them out of the way. There we go, all right. Nice gig bag. I gotta say, it's got, look at it, it's got a little pocket on the front. One of them good sized pockets. It's padded, it's got handles and backpack straps. This is a nice gig bag. Now, for anybody looking to buy one of these guitars, just to let you know, uh, I'll put a link in the description below to it on Amazon. They're about 280 bucks, but I got this. Keep an eye on Amazon. If you want to get something, anything, this goes for anything, put it on your wish list and watch it because they did a lightning sale. And I got this for, it was under 200 and then with tax and everything, I was around, around uh, 190 bucks. Instead of like 280, I think it normally is 285. It was 190, and with tax and all, it was like 201 dollars. So let's bring this out here. Oh, it, you can see it's a funky color. You'll see more in a sec here, man. The lightning deal was on this particular color, like the other colors, the normal ones that I've seen reviews on this guitar, everybody gets a black one. I don't want a black one. Everybody's got a black one. I want a purpley one. And they had the lightning deal on it, right? Purpley. And what? I can't complain about purpley. Honestly, I probably would have gone with the pink, but the pink was a real light pink and the purpley is more pink than the pink. So this is kind of a cool color and they had the sale on it. it get this, there's this tag, there we go. Uh, Enya Music, download the free app today for learning tools. Okay, and it's got one of them little QR things on the back so you can find stuff. Let me see if I can't get this thing undone. Here we got the, the, the strings are wrapped up there in this paper, so. There we go, we'll cut that off. I'm not trying to damage anything. I thought the idea of a carbon fiber guitar is pretty cool, honestly. Very, very technologically advanced. And there we go. So yeah, it's got this little sound hole in the front. It's got one at the top, see? 
I like, I like the little sound hole there. That looks cool. This is a little guitar. It's small. I like that for traveling. And yeah, it's not charged up, obviously. So all of the effects and all that kind of stuff are things that we will go over at a later date when I charge it. Right now is just my impressions. Really nice frets. These are like, I can't, I forget if they're stainless steel or not, but they got the ball end frets on it like a lot of people are doing. I, yeah, these are nice. These are nice frets. And I think even the fingerboard, yeah, it's all carbon fiber, all of it. The cool thing with that, if it's at all decent, we'll find out here in a sec, but if it's at all decent, you gotta figure um, carbon fiber is unaffected by temperature changes. So, where, where would you even make the adjustment? It comes with that uh, wrench for making adjustments. Oh, oh, that peels off the top, I see. It's got a little rubber bit. Peels off the top and there's a cavity there. But uh, just off the bat, it looks like it, it's probably set up all right. All right, not in tune, but uh, we can fix that. I'm gonna take a look at this thing real quick. Here, let me tune it up I'll get right back to you. All right, I'm back. We're gonna see a little bit of playing before it falls out of tune again. It, you know, new strings, they ain't stretched in, so. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, now I'm just wearing my little lapel mic, but the sound hole is on the top. It's got a sound hole on the top set. So you should be hearing it okay. But uh, you know, when I do a full review, I'll set up a room mic, all that stuff. Yeah, I like it. That's pretty good. Already going out of tune a little bit. Brand new strings, I get it, that happens. Let's see any dead frets. They all ring out. Overall, this is a fun little guitar. It plays good, it feels good. Uh, we'll see how well it stays in tune. It should stay in tune pretty good considering that it is carbon fiber. I mean, you know, it's got a different sound to it. We're used to that nice resonant sound of wood and this is different. This is not resonant like wood. It's resonant in a different way. I think it sounds pretty cool. Now, this is a smart guitar. When I do a full review on it, and I will, I'll do the full review with all the stuff, it uh, has this button on top, right? You push it normally to turn it on and it has its own effects inside. It's also supposed to be a Bluetooth speaker, but I mean, everything's a Bluetooth speaker nowadays, right? I wouldn't use this as a Bluetooth speaker, but uh, it, it's supposed to have effects and it has a little microphone in here, hence the Bluetooth speaker, but uh, it has a microphone where it can create reverb delay, and various effects for your acoustic guitar, playing it just by itself, not plugged in. Now, Enya has a couple other models. They have a model similar to this, but without the electronics, that's a lot less money. Uh, except I got, I got this, well, it's a bit less money. I got this one for about the same as their regular acoustic because lightning sale. There you go, there's your tip for the day. Keep an eye on something. If you want to buy something on Amazon, watch it and see if it goes on sale. It happens, it does happen sometimes. Uh, and they have an electric version that has two humbuckers and a speaker on it and you can play it anywhere. That looks pretty cool. That one's like 400 bucks though. So I didn't get that one. I got this one because I just, I like the idea of it, and I love I love the color. I'm sorry, maybe it was on sale because of this purpley color, but I like it. 
I think it looks pretty cool. And I think it sounds legitimately good, you know? Yeah, and the intonation seems to be pretty decent. Now, the nut looks like it is also carbon fiber. Like, it, it doesn't seem to be a separate nut. Like, it's just when they molded the whole thing, and I'm, it doesn't, it, I don't know, maybe the neck is actually set in, or is it a molded piece of it? I think feeling inside, you can feel where it's just, yeah, this neck is just solid all the way through to about where the sound hole is, uh, or down past the sound, down to here, where this sound hole is. It's just a solid chunk. It seems like they just, it doesn't seem like there's any joinery, like it's all molded out of one piece. So I'm guessing that should make it pretty sturdy. There isn't really anything to break uh, or any joinery to come apart. The nut is, as far as I can tell, not installed, but simply part of the guitar. It has a zero fret, which is nice. I like those. That kind of uh, helps things ring truer and yeah, I, I like having a zero fret. It does have a bridge. I forget if it says if that's bone or what, but it does have a bridge. And it's got the little pegs that you, you know, that hold the strings in for when you change strings. The tuners feel good, the frets feel good. I kind of like the idea of the whole guitar being molded out of one piece. That's kind of a cool idea. You know what I mean? I, I like this little rubber bit covering the, uh, the truss rod adjustment instead of something that's screwed on. So I could just kind of get my fingernail under it and peel that off. I'm not gonna do it right now, but peel it off. And when I'm done adjusting it, just pop it back on. That's cool. Uh, made in China, like a lot of things are these days, but that's all right. This is a nift, I love the short scale length. This is cool. It's not too hard playing up here. I mean, uh, you know, if you had a double cutaway, you could kind of get your finger around there easier, but this is pretty ergonomic here, right in that, that cutaway. This is, uh, how many frets do we have here? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 frets, right? <laughs> Dig this. This is a sounds decent. And this seems like the perfect guitar just to take out with you. Take places, go to the park, take it to wherever. And it, you know, it's got an instrument plug down here along with the USB plug. I'm, I'm guessing that's to charge it. And an instrument plug, you, you can plug it into an amp. And from what I gather, when, when you plug it into the amp, then the effects go through the amp. But all the effects are on board. And uh, that just seems like a pretty cool little thing to me. And for the price, like for a beginner or somebody that wants a guitar just to drag around or just something cool that's a little bit different, you know? This seems like a pretty good idea. I, I like the shape of it. It's like a little Les Paul, but acoustic, you know? I like the sound hole at the top. I can hear me. How does it, how much, I wonder how much you get out of that one. Yeah, you get a good bit of sound out of the front and the top, you know? A little lower end, a little bit more lower end coming out of that one. That sounds a little bit darker. Oh, yeah, it's because I moved my hand. I like that. Get down here. Get that twang, right?
Yeah, I dig this little thing. It's cool as shit. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. It's unboxing, my first impressions. Like I said, I'm going to charge it up, sit with it a couple days, and get back to it and go over the whole kit and caboodle. But as it stands, man, I like this thing. And uh, I, is this painted or is it just, is the carbon fiber purple? I don't know, but that bridge mount, I think, is all, I think it's all one piece, except for, like, the bridge and the pegs, you know? Cool idea. And, uh, yeah, resonates pretty good. I wonder if that's because the neck is, like, goes halfway or a quarter of the way through the body. How much? It's got some sustain. Still going. That's that's got some sustain. I like that. Anyway, there you have it, man. Um, check out the link below if you want to check this little thing out. For any of you expert guitarists out there that just want something to run around town with, man, this is cool. I could even see gigging with this because it plugs in, and uh, and because. One of the biggest pains in the ass of gigging is you kind of have to set your guitar in the room for a little bit before you play it to let it let it acclimatize itself to the room and then tune it up because it's wood. Wood expands and contracts. This, this is carbon fiber, man. If you're in a rush, this seems to be a pretty good way to go. I could see... I could see gigging with this, at least in, in some capacity. And uh, plus it's small. It, it weighs a little bit. I think it's because of the electronics, but yeah, this and one of those little uh, amps that does guitar and microphone for vocals. Yeah, and you got a coffee shop set up right there. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. Check out the link below to see if you want to get one of these. Uh, it doesn't have to be in this color. They got it in purple and pink, and they also have it in standard black and white. So... There you go. I went with it. Not just because it was on sale. I didn't just get this color because it was on sale. But that's why I bought it now. <laughs> but I like this color. This is cool. So, yeah. Check out uh, my reviews playlist here. It comes up in a minute on the end screen. Uh, it's the playlist that says reviews. It's got my other guitar reviews. And there's a playlist that says I didn't get a memory. That's my album. I did an album and it, it rocks, man. It freaking rocks rocks. It, it, well, I think it does. Maybe you won't think so, but check it out. And let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the next video. I love you guys. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye.